Hey guys and welcome back. I know we said we we're gonna hunt bees on this episode. I still plan to go try to hunt down hunt down and kill a couple of those. But uh saw some mosquitoes over here by the pond. It's been keeping down this wolf spider too. Um so we're gonna see if we can't nab one of these. I did kill one a minute ago, so let's say we can't just solo get one here, come over by itself to fight us. He might be out of range. Yeah, you're just gonna run away, are you? Hmm. Let's get a little bit closer. I don't want to aggro both of them because I don't know if I have enough food and stamina right now. Quit moving. But yeah, I'm standing here on the lily pads, like I said, because of that wolf spider. I know you're going to move as soon as I shoot at you. Why are y'all so active? Hey, man, you see me over here, bro? What's up? There we go. So we're going to see if we can't just mace him to death. Oh, we stunned him. Sweet. And I'm out of stamina. Uh, that was pretty easy. So we got a mosquito blood sack and a mosquito beak off of that. We need to go back to base and get some food, though. I wonder if we have enough to take out one more. Let's see. Shoot over there. Did I get you? No. I guess we could just go attract him, but I'm scared that wolf spider's gonna come investigate us. Come on, buddy. You guys aren't so scary. They were super scary the first time I fought one with just a spear, but <laughs> that's not too bad. So that's killing a mosquito, guys. We're going to check that out. So like I said, they gave us the mosquito beak and the uh, mosquito blood sack. So we can go analyze those really quick, too, if you want. So I'll check you guys as soon as we get to the lab. All right, so while I was getting off the lily pads and heading back, I noticed that, uh, like I said, I've never explored the pond since the update. But uh, see, there's tadpoles on here. And then I was swimming over here, and I saw that there's lily wax. So we're going to grab some of that to take with us as also lily pad wax new ideas fin flops and a pebblet dagger I wonder if we can grab one of these tadpoles too I bet they're not easy so I don't know what's in this water guys I know y'all have probably seen the videos you've probably explored it uh, it's all new to me <laughs> let's see if we can't kill one of these guys real quick come here buddy you don't call anybody over here with you they're so quick He's like right there. Maybe I do need some flippers. Oop, there we go. We got one. So we got us a tadpole now. Some raw tadpole meat. So like I said, we're going to run to the lab. We're going to scan all this stuff in. See if we get anything new. Alright, so we're back at the oak lab. Let's see if we have enough charges. Yep, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and scan the mosquito beak. Mosquito needle. Do a tadpole fat or meat, whatever it is. Slime lantern. All right. And let's check out this blood sack thing. No new recipes. It's just for the mosquito needle. So we can run back. Let's see how we do on science. Ooh, we got 5,000. We can uh, go ahead and get the meat shield. That might come in handy. So we'll grab that. Meat shield. He'll do the old razzle dazzle with his clamp and spatch the combo. Let's go ahead and buy that. Next, we'll work on the fortified bases and pebblet foundation, I believe. Unless we find another chip that gives us something better. Alright, maybe we can uh, take some hits now. Mutation detected meat shield. Let's see. Status meat shield. Cardio fan, rock, grass, fresh defense, ant annihilator, meat shield. Your size to meat ratio is off the charts. You take hits like a champ. Plus max health. Great. That should come in handy while we're fighting the bees. 
I really do need to upgrade the bow. I could almost make a crossbow, or I think I'd actually make the crossbow. I did want to get some of these mushrooms too. Let me see if big Spider-Man's running around here. Grab up some more resources to scan in. All right, mushroom cap. We need the big axe for this. Let's go get it out. And probably fall right into the wolf spider with my luck. Mushroom chunk. Is that all the chunks we get? We'll just grab a little bit for now. We'll come, we always come back later and get some more. I wonder if that's different than what the little mushrooms give us. I do need some food if it's gone now. Let's see, do we see? There should be some small red mushrooms around here too. But we need to grab water and food really quick. Mushroom chunk. Oh, we don't need to scan it. I guess it's just food. Small amount of hunger. Huh. Guess we can just keep that and eat it. So we'll store that, store that, store the tadpole. And we got raw tadpole meat. Let me see here real quick. Fin flops. What do we need for that? Plus swim speed, we need a water boatman fin, eelgrass strand, and lily pad wax. Oh, so we can make some new healing items. Oh, Shinobi Sneeze. A pollen puff blast hides you from enemy sight for a short duration. And heal Bossa. Juicy mosquito blood sack wrapped in so tightly in silk rope that it could burst at any moment. Showers all entities in a small area with a healing splash of filtered blood jelly. That's pretty cool. And then the mosquito needle, a fast and deadly rapier that mimics the functionality of a mosquito's blood sucking tool. So we get life steal. Very little stun, a little bit of damage, super fast, and life steal. That could be that could come in handy for sure. We need to make some venom arrows and some other things. The pebblet dagger, I forgot about that. A handy tool for harvesting aquatic flora or for defending oneself against underwater fauna. Uh Low damage, high speed. I guess we're going to need to make one of those to take underwater with us. And then the slime lantern. Lantern made from hydrophobic materials and slime mold. Useful for exploring the murky depths. So I guess we should make one of those instead of a torch. All good to new. I guess we can cook our meat and that'll feed us. Let's see, and there should yeah, there's some red cap mushrooms there. Let's go check those out while the meat's making. Make sure granddaddy long legged wolf spider's not coming around here. Are you dead? No, you're still alive. Toadstool. Are you just food or are you something better? Toadstool chunk. Any new ideas? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. No new ideas, huh? And it doesn't need to be scanned, so I guess it's just food. Small amount of hunger. But I can't. Why can't I eat it? Huh. Maybe it's for a smoothie. I don't know. It says it's edible, but I didn't see where it would let me consume it. Unless we have to put it on the hot bar to eat it. Because we can't cook it. Right, but with that, guys, like I said, I'm going to go and uh, get some arrows put together. Then we're going to go. Let's say we're going to get some more healing items built up, grab some water, and then we're going to go hunt down some bees. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're back over here where we killed the mosquitoes by the pond. Just doing some exploring and grab some petals because I'm getting low from these flowers. There's some bees floating around here, so I guess we can try to kill those. But first, I saw some science up here, so we're going to take out this spider and see if we can't get the uh, the science it's protecting. So what's up, buddy? Can we be friends? Are you just going to hang out there? That's I'm cool with that. So we just got 100 raw science from here. I don't see anything else. I guess we can bash him in while we're here. Oop. I messed up my block.
All right, so now we got some bonus food. Let's see if there's a bee nearby. There's one floating around there. I have no idea how to kill the bees. I have not watched a video on it. I'm just playing the game and enjoying it as we go. So I guess we can try to snipe him. Oh, he's quick. He's got the jukes. Probably gonna wish I had somewhere safe to hide from him. Oh, come on, man! Don't don't do me like that. Yeah. Just chill in one spot. Let me shoot you in your face. Wow. Land somewhere, maybe. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's mad. All right, let's see if we can take a hit. Wait, is that poison? Quick little booger. Come on back down here to my level. Oh, he, that hurt. There we go. We got him. He almost killed us. Alright, so we got our first bee. I need to kill four more for the quest. We got bee fuzz, bee shoulder pads, bee face mask, bee shin guards. Alright, that sounds good. So we, so how many items did we get off of that? Just the bee fuzz? Will. That's disappointing. That's uh. I guess I'm gonna heal up and kill four more of these bees, and then we'll go do an analyze on that and check that out and see what the armor gives us. And so I forgot there's a field station here, so we're gonna check out the bee fuzz. Let's uh, analyze that. Stinger spear and bee head mount. All right, the spear sounds cool. Looks like it's a tier two weapon at least, so uh, that'd be fun. Right, let's see if we can take a look at that from the craft menu. Go to weapons. Stinger spear. Tier 2 spear. Supreme stabbing apparatus. Much higher damage. Really fast plus critical hit chance. We need uh, five B fuzz for that and a B stinger. Some silk rope. What about the armor? What's that do for us? Decent defense. Better sprint distance. We can look at the firefly headlight. Doesn't do anything. Headlamp. Just gives us light. Shoulder pads, more sprint distance. And the shin guards, more sprint distance. So that's the new stuff we just got from killing a bee guys. Like I said, I'm gonna go back to harvesting them. Looks like we're gonna need quite a few parts. So we're still over here by the pond. I haven't made it very far. That's that uh, planter and the can. So the mosquitoes were there. Oak trees obviously right there. We found the science there. And then on the way here, we found some more. So I saw some more science glowing up here. So I went ahead and built a uh, little bridge to get up here. Just wanted to grab that and show that real quick. So that's another 100 raw science. We're currently back up to 760 after going from broke. Um, there are a lot of spiders right here. I had to cut down some stems because I built some stairs to get up here. Uh, it wouldn't be bad, I guess, to build across this wall too. Uh, maybe at a future date. And then we're going to go over here and explore this weird looking tiki box thing. So I have no idea what that is. I need to check this can out too. There's some soda in that can. And it's just where we built up on the rocks so we couldn't be hit. So let's see if we can't get over here safely really quick. Uh, hopefully there's nothing too dangerous over here. Nope, I'm looking good. Giant Oreo cookie. We can smash it up and get us some cookie sandwich. Break cookie. Oh, that wow, that broke the whole thing. Okay. Fresh cookie bits. New idea. Human food. I guess that's all we're going to get from that. Poor ants. Now they're going to starve to death. And we got some soda in here. We can uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. Fresh cookie sandwich bit. Let's Better eat that. Starving. That's pretty good. Pretty good food right there. Leave me alone, ants. I'm not sharing. It's my food. What is this? We'll, we'll take that. I don't really have space for it, but why not? And there was a giant rock over here. And look, there's a bombardier beetle under there. Uh, hopefully, we don't aggro that. Yeah, so we got a bombardier beetle, and that. Looks like that's all that's under there. Okay. So I just wanted to take a look there. Now we're gonna head over to take a look at this tiki box thing. Let's get a little spear out in case somebody wants to mess with us. I did find out something new that I didn't know. I'm sure everybody else knows. But uh, the mutations, as you get those and unlock them, you can come in here and click on them and hit space to activate. 
and it's based to deactivate you can have three of them active at once and then boost your stats that should make the game a lot easier I was wondering why I couldn't stand up to things like we used to but that, I just see that little blue dot up there I have no idea what that is it looks like a TV Frankenline what is this like a radio thing or something huh got no idea we have to play around and figure this out zap cooler oh zap color lobotomize interesting what, what, what happens if I hit that nothing okay zap color This is like a Halloween edition special. Are we summoning something? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with this thing. I do see there's a blue dot there though, so that's interesting. I'll have to play around with this. Oh, we can draw. Oh. So we can draw on it. S W. Okay, so that's what that is. Alright. Can you do anything? Do I hit you? No. All right. Well, that's something different. Not sure what's going on with that. We'll have to check it out. Maybe we can draw up and down with this side. I'm sure. So maybe if we draw a certain shape or something, maybe we'll give us a cl clue somewhere. We can, uh, I don't know, unlock or open something. So while continuing to make our way around the pond over here by the net, we uh, the little meter went off. We had some science nearby, so we just. Jumped up here on top of this plant, and we're gonna grab us some more raw science. And we've been, of course, we've been killing mosquitoes as we go, just because there's so many of them. And then we also found some charcoal chunks. A hunk of Everchar brand ever burning charcoal stays piping hot and is perfect for constructing an oven. So we found that on the other side of the net over there below the charcoal grill, and you needed a level two hammer to knock it up and to grab it. All right, so we finally circled the entire pond, and we came out here into the little concrete structure that's sitting in the pond itself. And we've got some science up here. We've got another field station out here, so let's go ahead and grab this log. Ominous practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, log 88.05.29G. Oh, or is that H? H for safety. Final evaluation tests of the spacer are going well. Though I have noticed some minor errors in transcription where a non-trivial number of particles are not being conserved. I have observed no ill side effects, but making a note to check that later. Making a note! I'm still annoyed by Dr. Klein's attitude at the barbecue when I confided in him about my success. He was arrogant, as always, dismissing my breakthroughs in covalent spacing reduction, questioning the very use of shrinking technology. <laughs> A ridiculous lack of vision. World hunger, overpopulation, global warming, just the tip of the iceberg. Alright, that's done. I don't think we have anything we can scan. Nope, nothing else that needs to be scanned. So that's gonna be it for here on this side. I guess we're the next thing to do is to head into the depths. I did kinda wanna dive below here, hopefully we don't get killed doing so. I wish I'd made the dagger before I came over here, but well, let's find out what's down here. Some tadpoles on something. Let's see if we have enough oxygen. You can grab this algae here for food. Let's see. HDPE. Oh. Huh. Looks like there's another lab below here, so uh, we'll have to come check that out. I don't have the inventory space to explore that right now. So we'll definitely have to come take a peek at that. I did see the koi fish and swim up to it. Yep, make sure we don't die. And he just kind of aggroed me and ran away. So I uh, don't know what's up with him yet. Not sure if we can harvest something off of him or kill him. Maybe he's like the crow and he just drops scales in the pond. I'm not really sure. But we'll definitely explore and take a look until we figure it out. I was hoping this was something we could gather down here. But I guess that's just normal plants and we have to go into the depth. But I'll see you guys in a minute when I find some more stuff after I drop this load of stuff off that we already have. Alright guys, so I finally found some eelgrass. And uh, we also fought one of these diving spiders. One of these things. And uh, when we killed it, the part it gave us says we can make a bone knife now also. But we're going to cut some of this. 
Yeah, am I getting any of this or how's this working? Is it just falling? Oh, there we go. Illgrass. Strand buoyant marker. Guess we have to do some analyzing on it. So let's grab some of it if we can't. Am I dr I'm about to drown. Damn. Back to the top. No, we didn't make it to the top yet? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some stuff to analyze now, So, we're, but I'm going to grab some more grass and then we'll go analyze this and see what all we can get. We made it back to the oak lab and we found a swimming water beetle that we also killed. I'm not sure why there's a worker ant in here, but hey, what's up, buddy? And uh, we're going to analyze the new stuff we've got. So we've got some of the ill grass. We can make a gill tube now. We got the water boatman fin. Let's analyze that. No new recipes. It's used for the fin flops. And then we also have the diving bell spider chunk. We can make a bone trident. All right, so let's take a look at that real quick, and then we're gonna probably call it quits on this video. Right at that point and get back to exploring the depths of the pond after we get some gear made up. Alright, so we've got the gill tube. A mouthpiece formed of eel grass strands and other hydropho... I'm not going to try this. Materials creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing. Plus junior diver. And then we have the new weapon. Where would I be if I was a trident? Alright, so we have the bone dagger, tier 2 bone dagger. A diving knife made of more robust materials, increasing the tool's effectiveness in its various functions. So better damage than the one we're currently using, better speed, more stun, and then we have the bone trident. A hydrodynamic bone weapon that excels at underwater combat. Good damage, a little bit of stun, some decent speed. We need more sunken bone. Oh, I've never gotten a sunken bone, I guess that's farther in the pond. So we need sunken bones, more diving bell spider chunks and need sunken bones for the other one too and that guys covers all of the new stuff that we've unlocked today so we'll continue like I said on the next episode most likely uh, I might include it on this one it depends on the time we'll have to take a look at that and see how that goes because we still need to make the fins let's do we have all the stuff we need for the we have plenty of wax we've got plenty of silk rope and then we fin flops. We need more. We need more water boatman fins. So I'm gonna gather that up and finish hunting down my bees. And I'll probably go kill these lawn mites to get some more science because we're currently sitting at 1,020. I don't think there's anything new we can buy with that. Always happy to see a repeat if you have any extra. What do you have for me? I don't really care about the sign. Yeah, we just need to get up to about 3,500. So we're currently good on all of that for the moment. So I do believe we're just going to end the episode there. This might be a pretty short one. Um, if you guys like this video and want to see more of this content, let me know. If there's any questions or anything that I've missed so far, also let me know that because I like to get everything as I can. I do need to kill some more wolf spiders and get some more pro feathers so I can get some better weapons like the crossbow and the insect bow. And I'm hoping to have all of that done by the time I finish hunting down these bees and mites. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. As always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch you later.